are you looking for a free alternative to Microsoft Office? Well, check this out. What's up, guys? It's Josh back with another video, and I appreciate all you guys coming through. Uh, looks like I got a, a lot of new subscribers that are coming in from my course that I created. So if you guys want to check out that course, it's basically an introduction to Linux course that I created and it's on my channel. So go on, check that out. It's free. Anybody can, you know, check it out. It'll get you up and running, learning the Linux operating system. And this can take you different routes within the IT field, especially like cybersecurity, as well as working in the cloud. So definitely check that out if you want to. Now, in today's video, I want to cover an application called LibreOffice. And LibreOffice has been around for a very long time. It's actually the successor of OpenOffice. And LibreOffice is pretty much one of the most powerful free and open source office suites that you can install on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. It's one of the things that I use on my kids' computers, my wife's computer, because I try to give as little as much money to Microsoft as possible. Well, this application pretty much allows them to do all their school work and do pretty much everything they need to do as far as uh, working with Office products. You can even open up documents that were saved in the Microsoft format of like DocX or Excel X. You can open that up within LibreOffice. And there's a couple other Office suites out there that are free and open source as well. But I really wanted to highlight LibreOffice because I think it's an excellent application that you guys can use for free and you don't have to come out of pocket at all for this application. But let's hop over to the browser so we can check out LibreOffice right fast. Okay, cool. So I'm at LibreOffice.org and this is how you get it if you're using Mac OS or Windows. You can download it directly from the site. I'm going to show you a little bit different within the Linux operating system. You can you can even download dev packages from the site uh, for your Ubuntu operating system or a Debian based operating system to install LibreOffice. But of course, you guys know that I like the command line, so I'm installing from the terminal because it's in pretty much all the major repository or major distribution repositories. So as you can see right there, uh, they have some examples of what it actually looks like, and we're going to get right into it. I believe they just released uh, 7.3 a while back. And that's another reason I want to bring it up and show it to you guys, uh, because they released a new version of it with new features and all that good stuff that goes with it. And just like with Microsoft Office, you have a Word application, you have an Excel application, you have a PowerPoint application, as well as a Visio style application as well included with this suite and then also i forgot about that they do have access it's pretty much a a version of access that's open source free and open source as well and you guys know access is used to create small databases using the microsoft office suite well they do have a database application included as well as a math application as well and i believe that's for formulas and editing and all that stuff so I'm not going to read much on the site. I just wanted to show you guys that I will always have the links down in the description of the videos. OK, cool. So I have my virtual machine up and running. This is Manjaro 21. And I want to show you guys how to actually install LibreOffice right fast. Currently, there is uh, only Office. I believe uh, Manjaro, when you install it, it comes with only Office, uh, which is basically a a office suite as well uh, but you can install multiple ones on the operating system so we'll go through and install it right fast but uh, let me show you guys the easy way of actually installing it but we can open up the software center at remove software and you can pretty much search for LibreOffice I'm sure it is here uh, but yeah LibreOffice and let's type it in fully 
and there are a couple of different versions but i believe the LibreOffice fresh is the one you want to install you should be good to go with that one they have some that have different languages right out the box for you so if you're using a different language just go on and find the one that's for you but LibreOffice fresh should be good for you for the us people now and let's go down and click on it right fast you can see libre fresh that includes all the pieces of the software so now let's go down and close it and go to the browser right fast and let's go through the install so all we have to do is type sudo pacman and then dash capital s y u and that'll update our system for us first uh, cause you always want to update your system, refresh the repositories and all that stuff. And I just did an update on the system. I just wanted to make sure you guys did it too. That's why I showed it as well. And then all we have to do is type Libre Office. And I believe that's the package name. We'll see. Yeah, the fresh. So we can go with the fresh one. Uh, or you can use the still. I believe the still won't give many updates. I, I believe the fresh is the most current one. Uh, the steel is the most stable version so let's press enter uh, the default is one so let's press enter and then type y for yes that we want to install LibreOffice in all its dependencies so let's go down and press enter and that'll go through the install and like i said super simple doesn't take too long to install uh, and like I said, I always like to install things from the command line because I like to see all the packages. I don't know. It's just something about working with the command line. It just it's just super cool to actually do and see it go through the process of installing the application versus just clicking a button and you wait a couple minutes and it's installed. So I'll be back when this actually finishes. OK, cool. So it completed the installation. That's pretty much all you have to do to install it. Like I said, it was super easy. Uh, you can do the exact same thing from the software center, but I wanted to do it this way to show you guys that. But as you see, when you click on your office tab and this is Manjaro, uh, most of your start menus will have categories that you can click on. And most of the time LibreOffice is under a office category. You'll see everything with LibreOffice installed. Now, the one that you can click on the most or the simplest, uh, this is like kind of like a centralized location for everything. So you could uh, open up LibreOffice instead of opening up these specific ones, but you can open up LibreOffice and this will open up. It's kind of like a hub, so to speak. So I'll show you guys that when it actually opens up, but you can manage all your different documents from here. Like for instance, it'll show you, uh, it'll show you recently opened word documents and spreadsheets as well as presentations. It'll show you, show them, show you them all here. And then you can also start creating whatever you want from here. That's why I said, you know, it's best to open up that centralized one unless you know exactly what you need to open up. Uh, but there's like I said, it's the writer uh, writer application, the calc application, which is for spreadsheets, impress, which is for presentations or PowerPoint slides. There's the draw and that's kind of like Visio, how you can uh, mind map and do all that different stuff there. And then the math formulas, like I was saying, and then as well as base, which is basically a, a clone of Microsoft Access. So let's start off by opening up the router writer right fast. Uh, and as you can see, it looks pretty much looks like Microsoft Word. As you can see, you are running version 7.3 LibreOffice for the first time. And they have uh, where you can look at the release notes right here. So if we click right there, that'll open up the browser, your default browser, and I'll open up the release notes for it. And I believe we kind of looked at it already, but let's go down and close that. Uh, and it shouldn't show you that anymore after uh, you actually use it for the first time. So it'll only show you that the first time. But as you can see, yeah, it did kind of open up the website that shows you pretty much uh, pretty much everything you could do with the application and how to use it so that's great to actually look at uh, i will bookmark that that way you can always know where to go because one of the differences between microsoft and libre office certain things are in different locations so certain things you you're used to seeing 
won't be in the same location in LibreOffice because obviously it's a different application and they designed it a little bit different. But as you can see, you got your toolbars at the top and I won't go through all this stuff, but your basic stuff, you know, you got your fonts, font sizes, bold, underline, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can type just like, yeah, I've know, I know people that have typed books using LibreOffice, you know what I'm saying? Just using this as the writer just like you would in Microsoft Word, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you got your alignments, uh, so center, you know, right align, left align, uh, you know, full screen, bullet points, you know, pretty much anything you could do in those other office suites you could do in here, you know what I'm saying? So let's close that document. We don't want to save it and it'll take you right back to the home page. That's why I told you to just go down and open up the main application when you open it up and that way you can open all of them up as needed and this is your spreadsheet this is just like microsoft excel it's a little bit different um now one of the things is super cool you know they have all the formulas that you would typically see in an excel document because i was like a excel pro at one point you know i worked as an analyst and so one of the things i used to do is fix data a lot of times. And so I would create pivot charts, pivot tables, you know, pull and then pull data using uh, formulas, extract like bits and pieces of data and put it together into a different format on a different sheet. You know what I'm saying? So all those formulas and stuff like that actually worked I've And I've opened up some of my old Excel documents in here and all the formulas 100% work. You know, I didn't have any issues with that. And just to show you guys, and this is the same for all of them, but let's say we wanna save it. Well, you can hit save as, and right now we can't see it, but uh, I'm gonna move it down or try to make this a little smaller so you guys can see it. Boom, so made it a little smaller, but as you can see, there is, they have their own format for LibreOffice. It's the ODF uh, spreadsheet file. So it's a .ods file. So if we click down here, you'll see that you have other options. You can save it in other formats. So you got your Excel, so XLSX, that's the Excel 2007. Um, you know, that's the 2007 and 365 format. You even have the older versions of Excel, which is XLS. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And you got your template, you know, all your Excel options. You can even save it in CSV. So pretty much anything, any form format you could pretty much think of, it can save it or export it out, you know, using that format, even the macro enable uh, file. So that's super cool to actually see. I'm not gonna actually save it, but one cool, another cool thing, you can encrypt it with a GPG key uh, and you can save with a password as well. So all those options are there for you. Now let's go down and close this spreadsheet and just want to show you the presentation. So you have uh, templates you can select, which is super cool. You can even download other templates and let's close it. But I just wanted to kind of show it to you that you do have that option. Let's see the draw. So you can go in and create like letters. You can create uh, invitations, you know, all that stuff. I can't remember the, the Windows application that this is similar to, uh, but yeah, you can use that to do all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then math, I never really used the math. Uh, so I don't even know how to use it. So I'm not gonna even lie and sit here and tell you, but they do have the access version. So. Uh, you can create a new database, go through, you can even connect to a MySQL backend. So uh, I believe uh, last time I used it, you can. Yeah, MySQL, Postgres, SQL. You can create a whole front end using uh, this pretty much access clone. So let's hit cancel on that. But that's super cool that you have that. And then, like I said, you can always get some help. And then one other cool thing about LibreOffice, they have a whole bunch of extensions. So I'm gonna click on that right fast so you guys can at least see where to go. But if you open it up, you can search through here and find extensions. They have a whole bunch of extensions. Uh, you can go through and, and filter them out, but this is awesome. You know, some people, sometimes I needed to install like a dictionary or something uh, so I could do spell checking better. 
Uh, so I went in here and found a dictionary. You know, that was one of the things, you know, I've really used or downloaded. But they do have a whole bunch of extensions that you can add to LibreOffice, which makes it even better, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go down and check out LibreOffice. It's an awesome platform for you guys to replace your Microsoft Office 365, you know, payments that you're paying every month or just buying Microsoft Office in general. So please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.